So this is the 16-inch M4 Pro. It's the uh, model with uh, 20 GPU cores. And uh, I'm running Path of Exile 2 here now through Rosetta. So it's uh, running the Windows uh, standalone client. And you can see while I'm walking around here, I get like 70, 70 ish FPS. But when I start uh, trying to not to die here, I get a like 50 ish FPS. And it yeah, kind of depends how much is happening on the screen. I'm going to take a look at the resolution and stuff afterwards here. And I'm going to tell you how to make this work through crossover on a Mac because. Uh, Path of Exile 2 is going to have a native Mac client, so it, it will work on a Mac without using crossover or uh, kind of emulation application, but they haven't focused uh, on making the uh, Mac client ready quite yet. But uh, just to be 100% clear, you, you, you can wait and uh, play on maybe a PC or something and you will get a Mac client at some point but if you want to play it today you need to run it through some emulation stuff so i hope that was perfectly clear so yeah you look you can see that it goes down to right 40 fps 50 when i kind of have some so i'm just in the starting area here so it's it's not like it's a lot of stuff happening and i'm playing with my mouse pad that's difficult so yeah, it's just a fun game. So let's take a look at the um, settings so we can go back to town. Okay, so we are in town here. I'm walking around now. I'm getting like 48, 47 FPS. But what you can see here now, if we go into options and we go to graphics, you can see that the resolution here is set to it's uh, probably the default resolution for the 16-inch um, uh, MacBook Pro, so it's 4112 by 2658. So that's a pretty high resolution actually, and uh, it's still able to run it in translated mode in like 50 FPS when it's 40, 50 FPS when it's hap things are happening on the screen. So I think that's pretty impressive actually, uh, considering that this is a laptop. So um, I'm going to tell you how to get this set up with crossover uh, afterwards here. But uh, yeah, resolution here, upscale mode, this is just set to default. Max render resolution is no upscale, so it's rendering the full resolution and everything here is just set at default. And down here I uh, reduced the, the uh, texture filtering to four. I'm not sure if that did anything. We can try to set it to like two, see if that happens. Yeah, maybe the FPS gets a little bit better, but I don't think it's uh, by that much actually. Uh, lightning I had to set to shadows here. If I uh, set it to shadows plus global illumination, the uh, performance goes down quite a quite a bit. So I have to set shadows there and uh, shadow quality to low, uh, sun shadow. It's at high now, but I guess I could set it to low and number of lights, maybe medium. I don't, I don't think that has much to do with the performance, but uh, you have to kind of uh, experiment and try out yourself. So yeah, I got like 52 FPS here now, so a little bit more. And um, yeah, walking around, I mean, like checking in your inventory, talking with vendors. Yeah, it works just fine. It's fluid. And I guess that, uh, I don't know when they are releasing the real uh, Mac client, but uh, I guess it will work just fine on these types of Macs uh, later on. To install this, I used uh, Crossover. So full disclosure, I have a uh, not for resale license, which uh, was provided from Crossover to me for free. Anyways, if you want to try Crossover, I think they have a 14 day trial, so you can try it out and then you can pay if you want to to use it uh, after that and i have a link in the de description below and if you use that you support this channel obviously but when you install crossover tried installing it through steam first that didn't work so what i did is i went to pathofexile2.com down slash download and i downloaded the windows install client 
and then you just open up crossover and you drag the Windows installer client into crossover here. You start the installation process. Just let it download everything, let it finish out. When it's done, you kind of get to this screen here. You have Path of Exile too. Okay, so what you do then, you start it up and you will probably get some kind of uh, error and it uh, won't work. That's uh, perfectly normal. What you have to do after that is that you have to go into your finder, your folders. You have to find your documents folder then you have to find my games folder. So this is on your Mac, okay? So this is actually on your Mac, not in your crossover hard drive. You go to Path of Exile 2 and you find this any file here called poa2 underscore production underscore config point any. And you edit that with, for example, text edit. And you find the line called uh, renderer type, this one. And you have to, if it says Vulkan, you have to delete that and uh, set it to DirectX 12 instead. Save it. You have to go to Bottles here. So your Poe 2 bottle. And you have to enable D3D Metal, uh, eSync, and I also enabled High Resolution Mode. If you have a really low-end Mac, you can, uh, I think you can disable high resolution mode uh, and it will probably run better. Uh, I'm not sure. It will probably run better on uh, low end Macs, but I had it at too high resolution there because it just looked awful if I didn't uh, enable this. And after that, I just went to open and you can see that it kind of starts this client. It loads up and it actually feels uh, pretty nice um, and it just works works fine. Not that much loading time. You kind of almost get right into the game and uh, yeah, this game is awesome. I'm not playing it on the Mac, but I'm traveling a lot and I am on boring hotels and uh, not much to do on the hotels and just have an external mouse and just when I'm not on my gaming PC I can sit here and play this game. I mean in the native resolution in 40, 50 FPS. I mean that's 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 fine until I get back to my PC where I get uh, 120. And then I notice with the fan, actually the fan in the Mac is not so it's, it's actually more silent than my PC because my GPU is going pretty fast when I'm doing this. But on the Mac here, up at least now, it's just silent. So that's pretty cool. So if you look at the performance on this Mac now through, I mean, emulation layers and uh, it's running a Windows client and it's kind of translating it and uh, all of that. And you can imagine that when they uh, release the actual real client optimized for, for Mac, I think you would uh, see a, a much better or better performance. So this is sort of the worst performance in this game you're going to get on this Mac. It's just going to be better, obviously. So uh, yeah, so now I'm going to uh, edit this video because uh, I want to play this game. So. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, you should go to Reddit and check out uh, the Mac Gaming subreddit. This is where I got uh, some of the information uh, on how I did this. And again, if you want to try out Crossover, I have a affiliate link in the description below. And of, of course, any support is appreciated. Take care, and I will see you in game. Bye.